Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio, back in the studio today, and today I have a new piece of gear to show you. It's the ART Dual Limiter. Ta-da! This thing is supposed to be really cool. It is a classic PWM limiter. Features two channels of dynamics processing, selectable stereo linking, XLR balanced inputs and outputs, which is nice. I like XLRs and quarter inch balanced inputs and outputs. It has input, output, attack and release. Well, we'll look at this in a second when I take it out of the box, but it's ART, Applied Research and Technology, the dual limiter. It's got some cool specifications and everything. I'll put a screenshot of that up right now. And I want to mention while you're looking at the screenshot of all these cool specs and stuff that this does say it has a three year warranty. So that's pretty cool. The heart of the dual limiter is a unique PWM gain control circuit. Combined with its intelligent detector, the result is a classic sounding compressor limiter without the traditional noise and distortion artifacts. It uses switching devices operating well above the audio range, which are pulse width modulated to control gain. So it's a kind of a different design of compressor. So I picked this up on the recommendation of one of the subscribers here, Music Factory Studios. So before I go any farther, I wanted to say thanks for the tip. Uh, this thing's going to be pretty enjoyable, I'm sure. So moving on, I'm going to get this out of the box and put it in the rack so we can run some things through it. Probably drums and bass today, and then I may see how it sounds on a drum compression submix, like parallel compression in a mix. So let me get this thing out of the box and let's see and hear the ART dual limiter. So let's see what's in the box. Got a manual, user's manual. user's manual okay cool that's the side nice thick power cord and the art dual limiter and there it is bypass, ratio limit, input, output, attack and release, stereo link, and of course active bypass ratio again for this side and gain reduction meters, and on off switch. I like this, this has XLR in and out, which I like. I mean, it's got quarter inch as well, all balanced and a side chain. This looks great. So for the test, I'm gonna stereo link it. And man, these buttons feel really nice. They're plastic, but they feel really solid. You can even hear that. That's a nice switch. So I'm gonna stereo link these two channels and the ratio, I'm gonna set it to four to one. I'll probably try a limit in a minute, but I'm gonna start that way. I also have to say these nice aluminum knobs are great. They feel really good. And it's, you know, kind of a black finish with gray uh, division stripes here. And there's only a little bit of kind of the art purpley color over here underneath dual limiter. If you compare that, I'll pan up to the art TCS, which is another art compressor here in the rack. It's kind of a purple color with the TCS logo. I mean, I love this thing too. This is a fantastic compressor. And these knobs are, they feel like they're metal but the knobs on the dual limiter down here and the look of it is really cool and a lot different than some of the other art stuff like that TCS. I'm gonna run a drum submix of kick, snare, and toms through the ART dual limiter and that way we can see what that sounds like. 
So here's some examples coming your way. And moving on to the kick drum now. Let's see what this one sounds like. Go back to four to one ratio.
I'm going to try some bass through this side of the ART dual limiter. I'm going to start with the 4 to 1 ratio and then eventually I'll turn on, on limit. Now what I've done is I have replaced the parallel compression on the drums in the mix of the song All Done. This is essentially the exact same mix as my last video, the mixing bluesy alt rock video. I'll put a link to that video at the end. And instead of the LA Audio 4x4 compressor on the drum bus for parallel compression, I'm using the ART dual limiter this time. So let's hear what that sounds like on this mix.
to say that sounds completely different from the LA Audio 4x4. The color on the snare drum with the ART dual limiter on the parallel compression is completely different. Uh, I might like this a little bit better, but I still love the LA Audio 4x4. This is just totally different. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. It's amazing how much you can compress or limit something with this thing without any distortion popping up in the signal. It's awesome. I mean, you can really, really, really hit something hard and it retains its hard edges without any of the fuzz or anything else around it. It's uh, really nice, extremely punchy, but not in a colored way but it is more colored than something like an RNC, let's say, which I never really use on drums. This is impressive and very different from most of the things that I have in the rack. So I'm happy, this one's a keeper. Well, I'm pretty impressed with the ART dual limiter. I think it sounds fantastic on drums. They do say that this is kind of a clone of the old MXR dual limiter but it's not exactly the same. It has some more modern components and probably some design updates and things like that. It sounds very good. It's different from all the other compressors in my rack. And I think it's the only one that I have that I actually bought brand new, which is cool that it has a three year warranty, kind of made it worth it to buy it. So I bought this thing from Sweetwater to give it a try and add it to my studio here. And I hope you enjoyed getting to hear see and hear the ART dual limiter. I appreciate everyone watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel as well as telling your friends that are into audio and recording stuff to subscribe here to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel. I'm always trying to come up with new and different things, new and different techniques and things to show you as well as do different pieces of gear that I get in here at the studio. So I hope that you'll all like and subscribe to the channel as well as check the links in the video description. There's the original mix of the song I used today as well as a lot of other links that go to help support this channel. So I hope that you all have an excellent and wonderful day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having, have a good one. And thanks so much for watching.